Friday Night Slot Car News, sponsored by GTSlotCars.com. So here's a pro tip for you. If you're doing vlogging and you want to record and you need sound, it helps to turn the mic on. Pro tip just for you. Tonight <laughs> in Slot Car News, we have the Slot It uh, Lola Dempsey Racing Car coming. Uh, this car is already shipped to dealers here in the U.S., uh, or some dealers in the U.S. It should be on their shelves, I would say, by early next week, and then throughout the week. Really cool blue and white car from the American Le Mans series. I think it's a 2012 car. Uh, I think it looks really cool. So, second news item we have is the uh, Apollo cars, the Formula Ones, and the throwback liveries. Uh, these cars, I think, look pretty cool. I like the idea of using uh, classic liveries on cars. I'm going to drop the photos in here. Of course, you're already seeing them, so you can check, check them out. Uh, the idea of using uh, classic liveries on a more modern car, uh, who doesn't like the classic liveries? So... You know, I mean, the modern cars, some people don't like them, some people like them. I actually think they look a whole lot better with the classic liveries on them. But, you know, if you don't like them, what are you going to do? So those are coming. There's going to be four of those initially. And there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, a solid body color cars coming as well. Uh, the solid color cars are going to be coming fairly soon. Uh, I'd say, I think... Uh, by end of, the, of October, maybe? Um, pretty soon. They're, they're going to be this year. And then the, uh, the throwback cars, the gems, <laughs> uh, golden era of motorsport, uh, I think those are going to be coming... I think those are going to be... Well, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to say. But uh, I, I, think, I think the throwback liveries look fantastic. The last item... Uh, on the old reporter's notepad is uh, Carrera Ambulance. They, uh, they've had some fun with um, the truck body that they, that they started doing years ago. And uh, I think the thing looks really fun. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that it comes with the, the, the nurse that you see there in the photo, but I mean, maybe it would. Uh, but uh, the photos were, were uh, used uh, courtesy of uh, Carrera. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's a fun idea. And, you know, we got to have fun in this hobby, folks. So if you don't like it, it's, you know, it's a fun thing. Probably not for you if you're, uh, if you're a hardcore racer. But uh, I don't know. Then again, if you have an accent, you can send it around and go pick up the, uh, pick up the casualties. Uh, we did get some cool stuff from Hornby uh, this week. We got a, uh, a blue IROC, gonna be taking some photos of that. Uh, this is a, obviously the production one. So some folks have already had theirs for, for a little while now. I just finally got mine. And I'm um, really appreciative for Hornby sending me a sample of that. It's, uh, I think it's a cool car. I'm really happy that, um, that uh, it's the second painted livery on this coming out. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's obviously a project that uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, I've got two slotted cars here. This is the, the latest uh, Porsche GT1, and uh, I kind of think of this as the cat in the hat car uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, I think this is a pretty cool car. Uh, I, like the, I like the GT1 uh, body and uh, nice long swoopy lines. Uh, folks probably already have seen this car on sale at dealers. It, it was released a little a uh, couple weeks ago. The other one is the Maserati, and I have it taken apart here because I've been taking some pictures of the thing. For uh, I'm going to put it on the slot it page early next week, and my own Instagram, which you can find links for in my channel. And uh, just uh, to let folks see, uh, you know, kind of what the car is all about. Got some nice photos of the chassis I've taken. I'm not sure if this is the first car with the quick disconnect or not, but it's the first time I think I'm seeing it. Uh, so. I, I like that idea. Um, I think it's really, I think it's a good idea. It's um, it save you a little bit of hassle if you wanted to 
do some work with the wires or replace a motor or something like that. And uh, obviously if you're putting a digital chip in there, because these chassis are obviously digital compatible, see the holes in there for the Carrera stuff, you're gonna have to cut out, um, gonna have to cut out the eye right there, but then there's holes in the chassis. So if you wanna put digital uh, chips in there, you can. There's the inside of the body and uh, the outside of the body. Uh, I think this is a pretty nice looking car. It's the first GT3 uh, Mazer that they've done and uh, I think it looks really nice. Some nice curves in there, some nice detail that I don't know that really photos probably do it justice. Um, the more you kind of look, the more you pick up on a little detail here and there. And I don't know, I think it's a good looking car. And it's cool because it's a first of a new mold uh, if you are a collector, first of a new mold, always the most collectible. And, and of course, remember, as I always say in my videos, these are cars are available now. All the cars, you know, as they kind of come out, um, you get one shot at these cars, guys. There's no make more. So if you like a car that's just come out and you're thinking about, well... You know, I don't know, like, if you're waiting for the, the unpainted IROC, uh, which, who knows, uh, I assume they're going to do one. Uh, but you're thinking you're maybe you want to repaint one. Just pick, pick one of the painted ones up. There's two of them out now. There's plenty of them to go around. Pick them up. Disassemble them. It's not that hard. Drop them in some isopropyl alcohol. Take a little uh, sandpaper to them. The tampo print. It comes right off, and you just sand her down. I use uh, crocus cloth or some real, some real fine uh, wet sandpaper, and uh, you're gonna be able to get a real nice finish on these cars. So just you know, it's a hobby. Be a hobbyist. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for today, folks. That's it for uh, September fourth. So uh, as always, thanks for stopping by, and I appreciate it. See y'all again soon.